right, now we're going to talk about using more than one mic. I mentioned using different types of mics. What's been common lately, I've noticed, is using ribbons on guitar amps. The Royer ribbon, the, the 121, is a very common mic to use on guitar amps. I generally like to couple it with an SM57 so you can get that bright, edgy, more aggressive sound out of the 57 and the ribbon will give you a more rounded, warmer sound. And sometimes that way, once you get to the mix, you can use either one, depending on the guitar's contribution to the, the big picture of the mix. Or sometimes a combination of the two can work. You can get somewhere in between. And it gives you quite a wide range of different sounds to use later on. As far as placing the mics, it's really to taste. Generally, I just have this ribbon pointing directly at the speaker. The 57 I have slightly off axis to the other speaker. You can put them on the same speaker if you want. It doesn't make a lot of difference. What, what does make a difference more than anything is the proximity, because you get that off both mics. You'll get a warmer sound the closer you get it to the speaker. You get a, a harder sound the farther away you get it. So if you want a warmer sound because you're using a ribbon, you probably want it pretty, pretty close, but not so close that it's touching the grill cloth because then you might get a little, little buzzy noise or something just from that vibration. Other than that, there really isn't much to it. There's another way I've done it in the past where if you have an amp like this that has an open back, you could put one mic in the back and that's a completely different sound. If you're going to do that, you're usually going to want to flip the phase on one of them because the one in the front's getting a positive push where the one in the back's getting it at the same time is getting a negative. So you're going to want to flip the phase on one of them. But that, that, that's a valid thing too. And it, it's just you got to, it's something to play with. I mean, this is one of the fun things about recording guitars is trying different things and, and seeing what you can come up with. And hopefully you have time and the, and the microphones to do it. This is a place to start, though. This is a re really sort of a standard way a lot of recording engineers use. Yeah, cool. That was good. You passed the audition.